everybody, it's Lori here with my weekly wax basket for this week. My theme, as I mentioned earlier today, I am filming both of these on Sunday, so happy Father's Day. My theme for this week is let's go fishing. So hopefully you looked at my thumbnail. That make sure you check it out. That is actually a picture of my son, my oldest son who loves to fish. I think would love to do that as a career. <laughs> <laughs> so that is a fish that he caught this season out in the Great Lakes. So we live in Michigan and he is usually on, I think he goes mostly like St. Clair. So yeah, that is a fish he caught this season. All right, so let's jump in to the theme. So let's go fishing. So this is what I did. So I went through my drawers, which sounds bad, but my wax drawers and I just kind of reached in without looking and grabbed one or two things from each drawer. So if you guys don't know already, I do separate my wax by scent type and category. So for example, I have a drawer of like citrus bakery. So that could be orange, lemon, lime, you know, anything that falls in that category. Then I have berries. I think I have cherry in there as well. I have a coffee drawer fizzy drawer so it just depends some of the drawers are pretty small <laughs> this dresser that I'm using for it I have some larger drawers and some smaller drawers so it kind of works out for some of the smaller categories so that's what I did my cat's going crazy and my son is playing video games on the other side of this wall so it's just a fun day here <laughs> so if you can hear any of that that's what's going on <laughs> Okay, so it was Let's Go Fishing. I reached in randomly and grabbed. So this could be interesting of the mix that I pulled, but because I have things separated by category, it kind of helps. So I didn't, like if I had it by vendor, I might get all like, I don't know, strawberry bakery, for example, because <laughs> we have a lot of strawberry bakery. So this kind of worked out this way. We're gonna give it a try. All right, for my bathroom this week, I pulled out one that I had already been working on, and this bag is getting kind of yucky, so I'm happy about this one. This is L3 Edible Undies Downy April Fresh. I really do like this one. It was in a chunk that she did as part of her custom chunks. So I like that one. I'll be happy to use that one this week. And we have Rose Girls Don't Be Salty Cucumber Rain and Salty Sea Air. So I'm a little scared. The cucumber scares me a little bit. So we're going to try this. And if this is not something I love, my son will probably enjoy it in his bathroom, but we're gonna try it, we'll see. We also have from the Bathing Garden Lemongrass Sorbet. This is a really an herbal lemongrass. I have a couple of these, so we're gonna see how this does. I might be mixing it with a little bit more lemon, lemony scent type of thing to kind of cut that sort of um, herbal note in there. We'll see, I'm gonna try it like it is now, see how it goes. And then we have a sample from Rainbow Melts Boom Boom Clouds, which is Boom Boom and Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. So a nice butterfly shape. So we're gonna use this in the bathroom. I pulled a couple of clamshells this week from Retail Wax to use as well. This is Island Coconut Cream. I think this is discontinued, I wanna say. I don't know, I have several of these. I got them when they were in clearance. They were clearancing them out, so I'll have a few of those. And then this is peach papaya. They did bring this back in a different packaging. This is last year's packaging. Love this. So I wanted to try these nice tropical blends this week. I mean, I've tried them both, but we're going to enjoy those. Let's put it that way. All right. And then for my bedroom, I have the pharmacist's daughter, Call Me, which is tangerine, marshmallow, and fizzy pop. I also have a favorite, <laughs> L3 Saltwater Mermaid Fizzy Soda, which is Ocean Mist, Seagrass, Agave Nectar, Coconut Milk with Fizzy. This is so good. I don't know why this hits all the right notes, <laughs> literally scent notes with my nose, but I love this in my bedroom. I usually mix in a little bit more fruit. So I have, you know, several fruity blends that I mix in like scoops, but yeah, that one's so good. I love it. And then Satin Susie Grape Pop. I am loving grape scents right now. So yeah, that'll be great. Great grape. And then Strawberry Raspberry Guava Blonde Moment Rainbow Sherbet Saltwater Taffy and Ice Cream. So this was from the Kokomo Sampler. And you guys know how I feel about Blonde Moments. So I will love that one. All right, so we just have a few measly samples. I still have, I don't know if you can see, it's on the bottom. I keep like a container of samples that I use in here. And because my candle that I had 
<laughs> and my crack was so strong this week. I wasn't changing out the wax as much because that was overtaking everything. So I just kind of let some of the scents go. So I have some remaining from last week, but I pulled a few just in case. I pulled Ava's Country Covered, Ava's Cupcakes. This smells so good. Such a nice cupcake blend. And then we have Great Grape Waffle Cone from the Bathing Garden. Casey sent this to me and I wanted to melt this this week. Like I said, I'm on a grape kick. And then she also sent Orange Fanta, which I love this scent from L3. So I'm going to put that in my little basket. And well, it's a glass container in here to use this week. Okay, so my coffee scents for the week were or are this birdies making sense a coffee a day keeps the grumpy away which is french roast irish cream coffee beans aged liqueur and vanilla cream in those cute little coffee beans that she uses i have coffee house from the pharmacist's daughter this is so good they do their coffee house it's so strong this is so strong looking forward to that one I actually, this was so funny. I pulled this out and there's only two cubes left. So I'm probably going to mix it with something. This is Nana's Nog eggnog with a little kick. I don't know why it was in the coffee drawer, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> and we have coffee ice cream from that small good shop, coffee and vanilla ice cream. So I really enjoy their coffee scents. And then I had this custom from Britta's, this giant bag is coffee library and sweet bakery dough. This to me is very strong on the library. We'll see if the coffee comes out a little bit more, but on cold sniff, I really get the library or like books. So we'll, we'll see, because I'm surprised. Normally coffee takes over everything, but that one, it's, it's a really kind of a library with a hint of coffee in the background. Okay, before we get into the main melting space, the <laughs> main part of my house, I want to do the candle of the week, which is Island Margarita. Set notes are sweet mandarin, island mango, sea salt with essential oils. So I did start burning this last night just for a short amount of time. And I will say, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> it really kind of had the kerosene smell. And maybe it was just burning off like the top portion of this candle. I'm not 100% sure. I'm hoping more of it comes out because I don't know that I'm gonna burn this all the way down. It might end up in the candle crock if it smells like that. We'll see, we're gonna give it a try. I'll be lighting that up today and see, <laughs> see what we think. I'll report back and let you know. That's the first island margarita that I am burning. So I know other people have had, it's not like the favorite of everybody's, but it comes back time and time again. So we'll see how I feel about it. Okay, we have a giant pile in front of me, so let's get moving. This is in the main living space in my house. I typically have six tea light warmers and then the same amount of hot plate warmers. So it just depends on where I'm what I'm gonna melt it in. This is VCS or Vintage Chic, Lemon Poppy Seed Jackie O, Lemon Poppy Seed Birthday Cake topped with Marshmallow Noel. I'm gonna be sticking it in the bin over here. So if you hear that <laughs> drop in, you'll know what it is. Rose Girls, Florida Key Lime Pie, Serendipity and Vanilla Ice Cream. Love the pretty colors in the chunks. This giant bag. <laughs> I did chop this up. These were chunks, custom chunks that we ordered from L3 and I rebagged it in this poly bag. This we called Copycat White Elephant Exchange. <clears throat> Pardon me, Godiva White Chocolate Raspberry. This smells so good. So I'm glad I pulled it this week. Excited to melt some of our custom. I know a lot of people had that custom. That's why I called it Copycat. We have Savannah Blue Cereal Marshmallow Bar. Heavy on the gooey marshmallows and fruity pebbles. We'll see if we agree that it's heavy on the gooey marshmallows. This one I was so excited. It came, got pulled. Frankish Princess from Teddy Bee's. Patisserie, which is warm donuts, baked bread, powdered sugar, and a touch of spice blended with blackberry butter pecan cookies, butter pecan waffles, blackberry jam, and butter cookies. I'm excited about that one. I have some more coming in her pre-order that's due in July, right? So mm, it's coming up. L3, Boardwalk Mellow Clouds, Cashmere Cedar, and Pink Sugar. Might not have put this one, and so I'm glad that came out. It's one of those that I might overlook. <laughs> might overlook. We have Beezy's Rainbow Sherbet here. That's the nice vibrant blue wax. I have almond milk tea from Empire Alchemy, amaretto, steeped black tea, cream, and sugar. And 
her two pack of waffles. Okay, so these are pulled together. I do have a, so it's mint and then chocolate in the drawer together. It's a really small drawer. I don't have a lot of chocolate. So these came out of the chocolate drawer. S'mores from L3. I will tell you, this smells like cinnamon to me. And I don't know, my s'mores don't normally contain cinnamon. Yeah, like every time I smell this, I get cinnamon. So I'm not really sure. Oh, we will try melting it and see, but... It's almost like the wrong thing right in the wrong bag, seriously, because it smells like cinnamon. I don't know. And then we have pistachio hot cocoa. This doesn't smell <laughs> like cinnamon. This is really nice. I get the pistachio and I get a hint of chocolate in there. So I'm going to melt these together. I think that'll be fun. We have Cafe Tropical, or Tropical from Vintage Chic. Hot buttered croissant smeared with blackberry jam and a stack of maple syrup topped waffles. Love this one. We have Very Licious Pound Cake from L3. No scent notes on here. I will tell you, the first time we melted this, we were all like, Ugh, what is that? <laughs> I've since melted it and really liked it, so I think it needed to cure. Our noses needed to get used to it or something, but I really like this. I'm looking forward to melting this one. We had Hot Orange Danish from BZ's. Couple of those. Smells exactly like the Pillsbury Rolls. I'm telling you, delicious. We have a couple from Zape I actually <laughs> fished out this week. We have the Mad Hatter Tea and Cakes March Hares and Cheshire Cats. Uh, it smells like tea and cakes to me. Love it. it. Smells really, really strong. I gave it some cure time. I got this back in March. So this should be ready to go. Ava's Country Covered Teeny's Strawberry Bakery. Teeny's Bakery blended with sweet strawberries. So I do like her strawberry blends. And that will be good to give a go. This is L3 Margaritaville Frosted Lime Cupcakes. I don't love her Margaritaville oil. I don't know what's in it. But I think the Frosted Lime Cupcakes cuts it a little bit. So we're going to see when we, <laughs> when we melt this. I still get a touch of whatever that. It's like a floral. It's a strange kind of really like heady, strong floral. I don't know. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't know what it is. We have Britta's Sam. Orange sherbet, lollipops, and cotton candy frosting. This is like a rainbow color. She does such beautiful colors on all of her souffles and loaves, everything really. But we have Zape. This is the second one of Zape. We have Trophy Wife, strawberry cotton candy, and mandarin orange. It was so funny because I opened this up and I'm like, this reminds me of something. Okay, duh. I'm using this sugar scrub in my shower. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, and that's what it reminds me of. So yeah, it smells really, really good. This is so fresh and fruity and just bright. That is such a good scent. I really like that one. We have L3, If These Dolls Could Talk, Vanilla Birch, Fresh Picked Strawberries, Cotton Candy, and Strawberry White Cake, and I'm assuming Vanilla Birch. Doesn't say that, but since it's on there, this really does smell to me like a really good strawberry white cake. I get like hints of vanilla birch. That's not strong. The predominant note, at least on cold, is the the strawberry white cake, a little bit of cotton candy. This is going to be really good. I can't wait to see if any of that comes out because I like vanilla birch as well. So that's a fun blend. That might have been somebody's custom. So it smells really good on cold. <laughs> so good job. I can't wait to, to melt that and tell you guys how I feel about it. So I did pull a scoop. <laughs> And I was excited that it was halfway gone, so this one should be a used up scoop this week, which you guys know I'm trying to work on my scoops, as always, because I can't stop buying them, so I need to melt them, right? <laughs> I love Jennifer's scoops. All right, so this is chip, milk, and cookies with white chocolate raspberries. So this, I will tell you, does not blow me away on cold sniff. It really doesn't, but I melted it, and it's fantastic. It's so good. It lasts gorgeous raspberry oh my goodness so highly recommend trying that one if you haven't and don't let what it smells like in the jar or if you get you know her harder wax don't let that fool you melt it because it transforms we have vcs or vintage chic simply the best <laughs> gooey batter smoked vanilla fresh rolled dough buttery vanilla marshmallow fireside and a hint of sugared almonds Marshmallow Fireside throws me off, I always think fall. So if I don't reach for that this week, it's going in the fall basket, we'll see. <laughs> or I have a container for all my fall wax, I should say. 
So we'll see if I don't end up craving it this week or wanting to melt it, then it'll go in there. I think it's gonna be cooler this week. So maybe if we have a nice cool night, that might hit the spot. I have Destination Wax, Strawberry Seeds, Sweet and Zesty Strawberry. This smells really, really good. Gorgeous a strawberry scent. I have Britta's, Cromwell Cookies, Sugar Cookie Royale, Sugar Cookie Dough, Animal Crackers, and Vanilla Ice Cream. I do get all of those things in here. This is fabulous. Really like this one. I've melted it before. It's a great like vanilla cookie blend. I feel like I get the animal crackers pretty strong in that one. And the last two kind of go together. It is a chunk from the chunk sampler from Hayden Row banana bread. And then this banana fudge from Melted Moose. I think that will be enough to put in all of my warmers and enjoy it from there. So that is my wax for the week. I tried to be reasonable and kind of count out the days a little bit better and figure out, okay, so what will I be melting? Tried to pull my coffee, which I missed in a previous week and, you know, not grab too, too much. What I am doing for the last week of the month, I've said this before, is I will be melting some of the leftovers, which I know doesn't sound particularly appealing or leftovers for a lot of people. But those are things that I haven't quite used up that I don't want to stick back in the stash. Or maybe I just never got to because I pulled too much for the week or whatever the case might be. So I think that'll be good. Instead of putting all of that back and I might not see it for a while, I thought it'd be good to use those and see how I feel about them. So that is my weekly wax basket. I'm going to be keeping my, what is it, chocolate Easter bunny Yankee candle in the... <laughs> Naughty Crack for the week, actually it's doing fabulous. It's been in there for an entire week already and I can still smell it in this office. So it's going strong, so there's no point in taking it out if I can still smell it. Normally things lose scent way faster than this. That was a super strong candle back in the day and unfortunately I just didn't burn, I would burn through it enough back then and it kind of sat and sat for a long time and then when I tried to burn it again, I couldn't really smell anything. So. It's doing fabulous in the crock. I'm gonna keep it in there. And then I've got my candle of the week. You guys know Island Margarita. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have a theme for this week. If you pulled anything related to Father's Day, let me know. I always enjoy chatting with you guys in the comments. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Mm -hmm.